Hi, this is Susan from Stuart Design. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color correct by numbers using Photoshop. It's a step-by-step -step numeric color calibration that uh, is pretty accurate. Um, so the first thing you want to do is click on your eyedropper tool. Go up to sample size. We're going to pull this down and make sure we're on 3 by 3 average. After that, we want to uh, bring up our curves palette, which is Command M. All right, down here in our curves palette, we've got uh, our black point, we've got our gray point, and we've got our white point. I'm going to set these numbers. First, I'm going to click on my first uh, point here, which is my black point. If I double click that, I want to set these to 10. So in my RGB color calibration, we're going to go 10. Set all of these to 10, press OK. Now I want to set my gray points, double click. I want to set these to 133. Last but not least is our highlights or our white point in our photograph, double click that. I'm going to set this to 235, which means our RGB is going to be set to 235. Oops. All right, now we're going to go ahead, now that we have all of these eyedroppers set, I'm going to press OK. It says save the new target colors as default. Go ahead and press yes. Now the next thing, which is our, our third step, we want to add a threshold layer. In order to add a threshold layer, we're going to go into our layers palette. Go down to, I like to say that this is a yin and yang symbol, but actually it's the adjustment layer. If you click on this thing that looks like the yin and yang, all right, go all the way down to threshold. All right, adjustment box comes up, which is in your threshold layer. We're going to pull this slider all the way to the left and slowly come back to the right. Now the first area that turns black is our black tone, our black point in the photograph. If I shift click, I'm going to go ahead and set that black point. Go back to our adjustment threshold window. Now we've got our black point, we've got to set our white point. I'm going to slide the slider all the way to the right and slowly go back to the left. Here's the deal. The first areas that turn white, those are our highlights in our photograph. So I'm going to shift click to get our marker and uh, I've set my first and second marker and I'm going to go ahead and close out this window go back to my layers palette. Now I'm going to throw away this threshold layer now that we've got these set. So now looking at our photograph we've got our black point and our white point in our photograph. Now we have to set our gray tones. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to add, go back to our layers, we're going to add a new layer. If you press in your keyboard, shift, command, N, that'll give you a new layer. I'm just going to name this gray. Now that we've got our new layer, we've got to fill it with, so I'm going to go in and fill it with 50% uh, gray. Okay. And inside of our layers, we've got our layer blend mode. Right now it's on normal. I want to go ahead and... Uh, Flip down to difference. Right? Then on top of this gray layer, I'm going to set a threshold layer. So I'm going to go back into our yin and yang symbol down here. That's what it kind of looks like. It's actually our adjustment layer. I'm going to go back and find our threshold. All right. Now that our adjustment threshold layer is up, I'm going to pull this all the way to the left slowly go back to the right. Now the first area that turns uh, black, these are our gray points. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this uh, area here. Shift, click, right. close this layer out. And now that we've got all of our points, I'm going to go ahead and throw all of these layers away. So now in our photograph we've got our black point, our lightest point in the photograph, and then we've got our gray tone in the photograph which is our midtones. Now I'm going to go back and do Command M. All right, this brings up our curves palette again. Now that we've got all of these uh, eyedroppers set, I'm going to go in and find my black eyedropper, which is our black point. Go over this uh, target that we've already set in our photograph, one. I'm going to go to the second one. Now remember, this kind of gets a little tricky. 
our second point, which is our gray point, remember that's our third in our photograph. So we're going to go ahead and click three all right, in our photograph. Go back to our curves palette. We're going to go to our, now this is our white point. Now our white point is going to be two in our photograph. All right, you got to be careful because some of these are a little, uh, it's, it's a little different. So you're going to go highlight, I'm sorry, your dark points and then your gray point and then your white point. All right, so let me just go ahead and move this over and we're gonna turn off and on the preview. So look at that, huge, huge difference, uh, major difference between uh, the original photograph that was brought up in Photoshop to the color correction. So that concludes our tutorial, uh, color correcting by numbers. Uh, thanks for tuning in and hope you learned something, bye.